Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedia, and I'm going to show you how you can insert some time into your logic timeline on a project that you're working on. This is really useful if you find that uh, you're working on your project and you have to go backwards and insert a couple bars, something like that. And uh, it's also very quick and easy to do, but I have had some questions about it, so I am going to go ahead and just show you how to do it real quickly. So, of course, I have my logic project loaded up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my locator selection right here. Now, typically my locators are probably going to be gray, and that's because I might not be using a loop selection or things like that. So, you want to enable your loop locators just by clicking on them. And so now the green area designates what is going to be looped or exported, but in this case, this is going to designate how much time I'm going to insert into the project. So I'm going to go ahead and just expand this a little bit, start at bar 8, go up to bar 12 right here. And since I've done that, that's set the location, uh, or, or rather the width of the locators. Now I just need to go ahead and click on the Edit menu and I'm going to scroll down to Cut Insert Time, and in the pop-out menu, I'm going to select Insert Silence Between Locators. Now you notice, this is immediately created silence between the left and the right locators, and now I have some extra time that I can insert a drum loop into or anything like that. Hope this is a useful quick tip to you guys. Get in touch with me, brian at obedia.com or twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. Take care. Thank you.